Chief, this weather bulletin just came off the wire. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I could make a cap, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. Could you, um... You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Johnny, how much more coffee? No, thanks. I'm sorry I had to wake you. I'm just looking for a doctor. There's nothing to worry about. Stewardess, I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers. They're very sick. Could you come take a look at them? Yes. Yes, of course. Both pilots. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. We have a visitor. Hello. Hi. This is Captain Over, Mr. Murdoch, and Mr. Boston. This is Joey Hammond. Oh, hi, Joey. Come on up here. You can see better. Joey, we have something here for our special visitors. Would you like to have it? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Sure. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? Do you want me to check the weather, Clarence? No, why don't you take care of it? Joey, you ever hang around a gymnasium? We better get back now, Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while if you'd like. Could I? OK, if you don't get in the way. I'd like to. Hold all takeoffs. I don't want another plane in the air. When the 508 reports, bring it straight in. Yes, sir. Put out a general bulletin to suspend all meal service on flights out of Los Angeles. Tell all dispatchers to remain at the post. It's going to be a long night. How about some coffee, Johnny? No, thanks. I want the weather on every landing field this side of the line, no matter what the size. You understand? Any place, any place where there's a chance to land that plane. Stan, go upstairs to the tower and get a runway diagram. Terry, check down the field for emergency equipment. Chief, we got fog right down to the deck, every place east of the Rockies. There's no possible place they can land. They'll have to come through to Chicago. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. I want the best available man on this. A man who knows that plane inside and out and won't crack under pressure. How about Mr. Rogers? Get me Rex Kramer. All right. Now we know what we're up against. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious is it, Doctor? Extremely serious. Starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat. As the virus penetrates the red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy. Begins to experience an itching, a rash. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Fog has closed down everything this side of the mountains. We've got to get through to Chicago. What is it, Doctor? What's going on? I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything like this since the Anita Bryant concert. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak or fish. Yes, yes, I remember. I had lasagna. Mm -hmm. Can I get you something? Get your mofo butter laying into the bone, Jack. Take me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Cuddy say can't hang. Oh, stewardess, I speak jive. Oh, good. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. All right, would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? Just hang loose, blood. She gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama? My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. Chomp the one and half, chomp don't get the kill. Jive ass dude don't got no brains in there. Shit, man. That hunky muffin mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head, you know? Hey, home, I can dig it. No, he ain't gonna lay no 
more big rap up on you, man. I say, hey, Sky. Southern say I won't sing. Uh -huh. Pray to Jay, I did the same old, same old. Hey, Mac a self approach. Slick, the gray matter back. Lot performers down, not take TCB in, man. Hey, you know what they say. See a brawl to get that booty at him. <laughs> Leg her down or smack him, yak him. Cold got to be. You know? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Mayday. 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 Mayday, what the hell is that for? Mayday? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a big parade and we'll serve hot or dirt. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. That's right. Oh, that's what I said. You heard me. Tell Omar to acknowledge and stand by. Every piece of emergency equipment you can reach. Alert rescue units at every mile of the way. Here to the Rockies. Chief? We need a free landing flight check. Tell him I'm in the dispatch office and I want to hear facts. It's your wife. I want the kids in bed by night. I want the dog fed, the yard watered, and the gate locked. And get a note to the milkman. No more cheese. Where the hell is Kramer? Show. Captain, number look at this. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligent. There's a sale at Penny's. Well, hey, don't panic. On the belt line of the automatic pipe, there is a hollow tube. Now that is the manual inflation nozzle. Pull it out and blow on it. What the hell's going on up there? Whoa. Whoa.